Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how you're able to hide or get rid of the camera cutout on the Galaxy S10 series that is part of the Samsung Infinity O display. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out all the videos I've made so far for the past devices, as well as the brand new Samsung One UI and the Galaxy S10 series. So first and foremost, I have to say that the Infinity O display or the cutout of the front facing cameras does not bother me one bit. I've used this for several days and pretty much my brain fills in in this little gap. Now, because the screen does go around the cutout of the front facing cameras, it's as if you were to read a word and there was a letter missing, but your brain automatically fills it in and sometimes you don't even recognize it's gone. Now, the other thing I also do wanna mention with the front facing cameras being cut out is when you actually compare it to other devices, the area of where the cutout is is actually where it was already taken up by other space. Now, with all of that aside, let's talk about how you're able to hide the front facing camera camera cutouts. Now, the first thing you are able to do is put your phone into night mode. So not only does this help you save battery life, but also when you're inside of these settings, as well as any application that was created by Samsung that is preloaded on your device will all be in a dark mode. You know, one of them is very similar to messages. So basically everything does hide off and all your conversations are towards the bottom and all your visuals is towards the top. Now let's go just one step further and let's actually physically get rid of those front facing cameras with it's basically taking up from some of the screen. So what you are able to do is if you pull this down, I'm gonna turn off the night mode just so we can see it just a little bit more clear. We go inside of the settings and then you go underneath the display. There's an option over here for your full screen apps. Now underneath the full screen apps, this is where you can choose which applications you want to be in full screen and not. So what you are able to do is turn this on right here where it says hide front camera. So what it's able to do is it's adding a black line across the top. So it's basically taking down from what you visually use and see. Um, so it's almost taking it, at least in terms of the Galaxy S10 Plus, from a 6.4 inch display down to a 6.1. And so when you go through here now, let's say that we go on YouTube, you can see that it is not taking up the full entire screen. So if you're checking out a video, if you go sideways, um, if you're using your camera, pretty much anything and everything that you use now, um, you will not be using the full entire front of the screen, uh, which would be using that front facing camera. So even if I was to pull down and head into settings, you can see that that front facing camera whole cutout is now gone. Now there is one more cool thing I do wanna show you when you do bring down the screen and you're hiding the front facing camera, Cameras, and that is by showing you the edge lighting. So this was one of the first things that popped in my head is, oh, if you hide the front facing cameras, you're bringing the screen down a little bit. Does edge lighting still go around the entire device or only the screen of what is being used? So here we are inside of the display settings. And let's say that we go down to edge screen and then down to edge lighting. When you go to the edge lighting style, it actually only goes around the screen of what is being used. So up here in the very top, that is where the cameras are, uh, but the edge lighting does not go around that. It actually just uses with the screen that you're using at that moment in time. So let's say that we hit on done. We're gonna go back just a little bit and we're gonna basically show off all of the uh, full screen apps one more time. We're gonna move on back and you can see that the camera cutout is now there invisible again. Let's go back to display back over into the full, actually no, it's going down into the display. And then we're gonna go down to the edge screen and edge lighting. So now I wanna show you what it looks like when you do the edge lighting style. You can see it goes all the way to the top this time, all the way above and around the camera sensors. So really this was all I wanted to show you off and, and, and show what happens if you wanted to hide the front facing cameras. So basically what you're kind of doing if you get the Galaxy S10 Plus is you're going from a 6.4 down to a 6.1 inch display, pretty much the exact same size as the Galaxy S10. But you know what, some people might wanna do that. For me, I found that if I put it on night mode, the majority of the time, I'm not even noticing the front facing cameras. And the more and more you actually have the device, the more and more it goes less visible visible, especially when you're taking photos and watching YouTube, watching Netflix and everything else. So I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know if you would like to hide the front facing cameras, you are able to. Uh, one of the easiest way to do it is just by turning on night mode, but you can physically bring the screen down if that was your cup of tea. 
So other than that, I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe. You subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side, that little red circle. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites, and I'll see you guys later.